Hello and thanks for watching this video on the values of CEC. I want to talk for just a few minutes about engaging in dynamic relationships with God and people. This is one of our, our values here at CEC, something we seek to live out, not just in our worship gatherings and our ministries here, but in our everyday lives. Um, the reality is we live in a changing world and it can become very easy to hold on to the things that we want to remain constant, that we want to be able to rely and depend upon. Um, and relationships are a place where we can, where we can do that. Um, our relationship with God, His steadfast love that never ends, our relationships with, with people and, and, and our family are things that, that anchor us as we live out our daily lives. And yet the reality of life, the reality of faith is that it's always changing. Uh, a, a Greek philosopher uh, back in the 6th century BCE actually said the only constant is change. And while that frustrates many of us who prefer things to stay the way they are, the reality is faith, if it's not growing, if it's not dynamic, um, is actually dead. <laughs> the only things that aren't growing, the only things that aren't changing are, are dead things in our world. And so as we talk about engaging in dynamic relationships with God and with people, um, we want to remember that the faith that we have is a journey that we're on with God. And it goes in phases, it goes in stages. There are periods of our life where we feel closer to God. There are periods of our life where maybe we feel like we're more distant or God is more distant from us. And yet the invitation over and over again is to engage in a dynamic, a growing, a changing relationship with God. Paul's talking to a church called Corinth, and in this church, he reminds them in 2 Corinthians, he says, we are contemplating the Lord's glory, and as we're doing that, we are being transformed into his image with ever-increasing glory. This idea that Paul is trying to share is that, is that we are in the process of being transformed by God. Yes, God has saved us. Yes, God has, has made us his children. But now, each and every day, he is creating us into the image of his son, Jesus. We are becoming more and more like Jesus. I don't know about you, but it gives me hope to remember that um, my relationship with God can always grow. It can always improve. And so the invitation is to engage, to stay engaged with God in this dynamic relationship that I have with him. But we also put engaging in dynamic relationship with God and people. Why? Why people? A couple reasons. One, the Christian life is not meant to be lived by yourself. God has given us the gift of community. Now, the difficult thing is people are messy, and being in community can be hard, will be hard. It requires grace. It requires forgiveness. It requires perseverance. But God has called us over and over again in Scripture to engage in dynamic, changing, growing relationships with people. In fact, in 1 John, we're told that we actually can't love God, be faithful to God, and not seek to love other people. He says, John says, whoever claims to love God, yet hates a brother or sister, is a liar. For whoever does not love uh, their brother or sister whom they have seen cannot love God whom they have not seen. And he's given us this commandment that, the, that someone who loves God must also love their sister and their brother. And so this value is about more than just a static relationship with God. A relationship where I got, my, I got my fire insurance, I got my ticket to heaven, and we're good, God. It's about growing in a dynamic relationship, becoming more and more like Jesus. And then to realize that our relationships with people are meant to be something we also engage in, even when it's difficult, even when we're hurt to offer forgiveness, to seek reconciliation, to work through conflicts. This is the Christian life, both my faith and relationship with God and my relationship with other people. So as a church body, we want to be about engaging in dynamic relationships with God and with people.